Welcome to the Cornish Radio Amateur Club series of slide videos for the RSGB Advanced Examination. These couple of slides we're going to have a look at selecting a calculator for the exam. So I would recommend that you obtain a suitable calculator early on in your studies and learn to drive it. Don't get one that's excessively complicated. The one shown here, the Texas Instrument one, um, has all you need and costs less than £10. Whatever calculator you do select, I recommend that you select one that supports engineering notation because that will help align the answers with the uh, commonly used multipliers 10 to the 3, 10 to the 6th, kilo, mega, uh, 10 to the minus 3, milli, 10 to the minus 6, micro, etc. that we encounter uh, in the examinations. So something like that is what you need. Here are the functions, functions that you will definitely need. You will need EE or EXP to allow you to enter in scientific or standard form notation, engineering notation. So you should be able to enter into the calculator 3 times 10 to the minus 3 for 3 milliamps or 6 times 10 to the 6 for 6 megahertz. One over X or reciprocal. Uh, you'll need this for resistors in parallel. The formula one over R equals one over R one plus one over R two, etc., and necessitates that you have the ability to um, have a button on it for reciprocal. Uh, also, um, formulae like um, X C equals one over two pi F C. It's helpful if you have the reciprocal button there as well. Um, some sort of memory to uh, store intermediate results. Different calculators have different ways of, of doing it. Uh, this on-screen calculator that um, I'll be using um, has four buttons for memory clear, memory plus, memory minus and memory recall. Others have uh, buttons like STO for store and RCL for recall, etc. So uh, different ways of doing it, but uh, most scientific calculators, in fact, I would say probably all scientific calculators have some sort of memory available anyway. Pi uh, for XC and XL, uh, not absolutely necessary. You could type in 3.141. If you can memorize it um, into a, a calculator that doesn't have pi, but it's so much easier if you have it on a single button. Uh, square root, sometimes just simply a root sign or a square root sign, sometimes a little two there for square root. Uh, we need that for things like um, uh, resonance and for uh, root mean squared. Now these two are nice to have, but not really necessary as far as I can see. Um, log to the base 10 um, helps you convert um, factors into decibels. So, for example, if you put in uh, 2, uh, take the log of it, and then multiply that by um, uh, uh, 10, that will give you the uh, dB equivalent of two times, in other words, 3 dB. Similarly, to go the other way, if you have 3 dB and you want to find out um, what it is in times, then if you type in um, 0.3 and then press the 10 to the X button, it'll say two times. We'll be covering these issues um, later on in the course. So that's it really for um, uh, selecting a calculator. Um, the one I'll be using on the screen is the one you can see there. Um, it unfortunately does not support 
um, engineering notation, uh, but we'll work past that um, as we as we go through the course. Thanks very much.